this news. He told me while that investigation is over, the repercussions for him are not. Hey, hey, how you doing? We caught up with the 18-year congressman late this afternoon, just a day after he got official word that he was no longer the target of an ethics investigation. I'm just glad it's over. I'm happy to have my life back. That investigation centered on a Watt campaign fundraiser last December at Democratic Party headquarters in Washington. This was the invitation sent to donors. The event happened just days before the landmark vote to overhaul the nation's financial system. Watt and several other members of Congress were being probed for donations reportedly accepted just before that vote. I understood uh, after I got into the investigation why they were raising questions about uh, about this, but uh, uh, and I felt like, uh, based on the information I'd given to them, uh, I'd be completely exonerated, and that would be the end of it. And this letter is the end of the investigation. It's from the Office of Congressional Ethics, and says board members voted to dismiss the allegations against him. But what says for him, this really isn't over. He estimates he spent more than 100 hours defending himself. He says he's lost campaign contributions, and he believes some people now look at him differently. I don't think you fully recover your reputation, uh, even with a finding of, uh, uh, like the one that I got, that there's been no impropriety. Several other members of Congress are still under investigation for similar allegations. Watt thinks they'll be exonerated, too. He says the allegations should not have been made public unless investigators found evidence of actual wrongdoing. He says that's a flaw with the system that needs to change. But will he take it on? He said maybe eventually, just not right now.